In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 4, verses 23 to 25. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went out throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitude followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. We read in this morning's Gospel from St. Matthew a summary of Jesus' ministry, as the little heading says, is what Jesus was doing. How he was preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And remember I said yesterday, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right, for all of us. We must be prepared as we go through this Advent season in preparation to celebrate the birth of Christ. We must prepare ourselves, our bodies and our souls, through fasting and prayer. Today also we celebrate another special saint, Saint Andrew. And as is frequently known, the first called. As you may recall, he was the first one that Jesus called. And I'd like to share with you now the gospel reading for today for him that has been set aside. It's from St. Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 and 25. And Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Those two little verses say a lot. If we desire to follow Jesus, we have to deny ourselves and to take up our cross. And this is not just once, it is every day, daily, and follow Jesus. For us to get to heaven, for us to be with the Father, the only way is to follow Jesus. That is the way. As Jesus said to one of the apostles when they asked, How do we get to where you're going? He said to them, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can go to the Father except through me. Jesus shows us the way. We obey his commandment that he gave us to love one another Love was the commandment that Jesus gave us. And by the love that we have and show for one another, people will know that we are Christian. 
so important. And as Jesus did, we read in the previous reading, how he went teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases among the people. This too we need to do. Preaching our gospel the gospel of Jesus Christ is by example by living that life we pray for people who are sick and if we have enough faith as much as a mustard seed a tiny little seed we can do these miracles too. If we have the faith with prayer and fasting, that's the key faith, how much we have to be able to do all this. He gave this power to his apostles. And as we just read about the first one that was called St. Andrew, they're all given that power. And if you recall in one of the readings how they had trouble with a particular demon-possessed person, And Jesus said to them, it's only through prayer and fasting can you do this. Our faith needs to be strong. And remember, all things are possible for God. All we have to do is to ask him. Pray fast and live the life as a Christian, as a disciple. Love, to show our love for one another. Sounds easy? It isn't. It is very hard. We all fall short so often. We all have good intentions and we fall short. So, what do we do? Put it in the too hard basket? No. We must never, ever give up. As Jesus said, Take up your cross and follow me. Carrying the cross is not easy. And that's what I'm saying. It's a daily struggle. It's a burden. To try and live Christ-like. Pray. Pray to God for help. Pray to the Holy Spirit who is with you. For him to guide you on this journey to Calvary, to heaven. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.